We back, y'all. Um, so as I put this picture on the screen, y'all went. Let's go. As soon as I put this picture on the screen, I did all that kicking and talking. As soon as I put this picture on the screen, about to go in. I get the scene. Oh, we can't hear you. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you these no they be they be sending they every people from their um Yeah, that be people from their camps. You see dude from they from Zerk Camp slid in here. We don't go and hit some switches fast. Like nah, we need that, y'all. I, that's why I pinned this comment. So his little dumb ass can learn something in here. Cause if he if he a part of that if you I hope that you a part of their camp. Cause if you not a part of their camp and you in here saying this on my live, man, you gotta be the slowest nigga breathing. They not paying you with nothing. They put a, a, a cent in your pocket. You probably can't produce ten dollars right now if I ask you to. Yeah, little nigga can't even produce ten dollars if I ask him to. He talking about he don't like slow shit on his them switches fast. Well, if, well, the gods, we ain't scared of the police in here. We we war with the police in here. We know who the real ops is. The police are our ops in here. But you rapping ass niggas and you street ass punks, the police ain't y'all ops. Y'all ops is y'all own people. So when you quote Lil Durk and these niggas talking about y'all don't like slow shit, switches fast. First off, Lil Durk ain't never shot a switch a day in his life. He ain't never shot a gun a day in his life. I hate to hurt your feelings, shorty. Lil Durk ain't never shot a gun a day in his life, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? I don't know why you believe in these niggas, G. Now, if you talk about King Von, that's a whole different story. He stood on that shit. Lil Durk ain't never did nothing. And if, and if Lil Durk's so tough, tell him fight me one on one. I've been calling him out since January, nigga. I done went all downtown Atlanta, called the whole camp out, nigga, downtown at the varsity, nigga. And I posted down there, nigga, for like an hour or two, nigga. They could have sent any of you stand off niggas off. They could have gave any shorty a thousand dollars and told him pull up on me. Why ain't nobody pull up? Niggas know. Motherfucker gonna get your people beat the fuck up. And anybody that pull up other than Lil Dirt, it's just gonna make him look softer. Nigga. Period. And I don't have no issue with, with nobody in them camps. I don't have no issue with nobody in OTF or 4PF. My issue is with the leaders. Lil Dirt, Lil Baby. And any other rapper that's on that bullshit, nigga. All you house niggas. Y'all, y'all the face right now. See, it's not. Our people know to watch out for white people. See what I'm saying? They don't know to watch out for their goddamn own, nigga. That picture right there is worse than anything a fucking. Listen, a, a poor white person come to me and call me a nigger. That ain't worse than that picture that little baby took with her. You don't hear me though. A white person could walk up and call me a nigger and spit in my face, and that and 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 what little baby did is worse than that. And while your little dumb ass talking about switches fast, when your little goofy ass locked up, nigga, ain't none of them niggas gonna bond you out. And even if they do bond you out, you got a case though. Now you fighting the case, because guess what? You're not gonna fight the police. Because the gods, we went fighting the police in here, nigga. We, we were fighting for what's right. You niggas ain't got no nuts. Y'all got switches for each other, but you gonna try to get bond out when it comes to the police. Bitch made shit, boy. Nigga talk about, then he gonna say, y'all, uh, I'm a GD, so I, that's why I don't like dirt. Nigga, nigga, fuck a GD too. Give a fuck about no GD, no BD, no blood, no crypt, no king. Nigga, I'm a god, nigga. You hear me? I'm a god, nigga. I don't care about none of the other shit, nigga. I didn't, I didn't did all that GD shit. Ain't get me nowhere, shorty. Why you on the internet trying to live a life I didn't already live, nigga. You hear me? That's why I said I was glad he said that because I need to teach his little ass something. He need, to, he need to hear this. He need to be properly scolded. You get what I'm saying? Talking about switches. Right, niggas got, you hear me, fuck? That niggas got switches for each other. And then when the police come, he gonna run with that same switch in his hand, though. He gonna run with it, y'all.
He got Lil Durk and him sending them off, man. These rappers sending these shorties off. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, you would be the shorty Durk or pay that dub to run in the club. Give my little man a dub, he running your club. And your goofy ass, $20,000 running the club and your goofy ass face in life. Can't even enjoy that little 20K. And your lawyer to beat the murder case gonna cost way more than 20. Nigga, I had a first degree attempt murder and to get a, and, and Sam Adams wanted 30 bands for an attempt, nigga. So you run in that club if you want to for that 20 little goofy ass little nigga. And that ain't even your motherfucking lawyer money, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Nigga, that 20, you gonna run through that shit in a matter of, 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 of of, 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 of motherfucking three years in state penitentiary. Nigga, that shit gonna be gone. And commissary. You gonna spend that shit over, in, over a five-year period all on commissary listening to them niggas. Trying to pop out on hits. And, and they ain't even hitting y'all target. You goofy-ass niggas hitting little kids and shit. Fuck out of here, nigga. Right, because you niggas running up on niggas with switches. You niggas scared, shooting from across the street. Cause you some scary little boys on the internet with guns shoot from across the street with your eyes closed and shit. Cause you don't want to see no blood. Get your soft ass out of here, nigga. Who up on the score? The police up on the score, nigga. You hear him, y'all? Let's let's put him on the board, y'all. And any and look, any gods in the university that's twenty one and under, this is an example of what not to be when y'all get older. Don't be baby Camlet. Don't be that stupid. Don't be him. See what I'm saying? Don't be him, y'all. Let's use him as a class example. Then he's on the post talking about who up on the score. Nigga, the police up on the score. Nigga, that's who up on the score. Now, is you trying to slide or not? That's a good question. Who up on the score? It ain't no GDs or no BDs or no Bloods or no Crips. Who up on the score? Right, you right. Who up on the score, little nigga? It ain't you. And it ain't no GDs. Nigga, the police up on the score. Get your goofy ass out of here, nigga. Police up on the score. Nigga, that's who up on the score, nigga. Police, nigga. Now, we ain't giving your goofy ass no more attention, nigga. Say some other ignorant shit. We're going to block you out the live. So, I hope you enjoyed your 10 seconds of, of I guess it's, what you call it, fame? Where the lighter at, man? The goofy little nigga. That's why we need him on there. He like, who up on the score? That's a goddamn good question, nigga. That should have been the name of the lecture. Who's really up on the score? <laughs> you goddamn right. Who's up on the score around this bitch? Because the show ain't us. It ain't nobody with carbon in their skin. The last time I checked, the motherfucking police got way more murders than any nigga in your hood. And then when, every time they lock a nigga up, that count as a body too. So who really up on the score? Little nigga. Right. We we warn with the police over here. What you trying to do? You trying to help us with hey, hey, baby Cam Lit? Is you trying to help us war? With the police, or is you just trying to be a little scary ass nigga in the comments? Comment. That's all I want to know. We talking about sliding on the real option here. You talking about sliding on other black people that don't own shit or control shit? Puss ass little nigga. And dirt. That's why I don't like you. I blame you. Cause shorty in here trying to live vicariously through your lyrics. You see what I'm saying? Look what you're doing to him, Dirk. You got him all in here outside of himself. Now he gonna go outside and kill 20 people because you got him talking about the switch is fast. See what I'm saying? He probably ain't even from Chicago. You see what I'm saying? And look how you got him acting out here in these comments, Dirk. That's not okay, man. See what I'm saying? I, I feel for him, man. I feel for him, man. I'm, I feel for him, y'all. And it ain't even him, y'all. I be feeling for my youth, y'all. That's why the youth that's in here, I really, really, I take to y'all, man. Because he don't want to be like that, y'all. He really scared inside, y'all. He want to go somewhere and, 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 and cry. He don't really want to be like that. But because he's listening to this music, you know what I'm saying? He don't know how to just go somewhere and cry. He really need a hug. But he don't know how to say that, though. So he want to put on this image that he's this tough guy. I'm, I've been there before. I've been a little scared kid on the block who had to create a persona in Chicago to hide the real himself. I get it. I get it. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I'm here to help break the molds. You can be yourself, y'all. To everybody 21 other, you don't have to be no gang member to be no real nigga. Nigga, nigga you ain't got a step to be no real nigga. You ain't got
got to sell drugs to make you real. Nigga, you can go to school and you still real, nigga. You can sit on your porch, nigga, and count the butterflies flying and you still real, nigga. You got to shoot no nigga. That don't make you real. You got to make a man. That don't make you real. Having a lot of females don't make goddesses don't make you real. Gang banging don't make you real. Having a lot of guns don't make you real. Not being scared to use it don't make you real. Knowing your purpose, finding your purpose, and not being scared to live out your purpose and the reason why you're here, that makes you real. Let's, let's kill that. Because I know the pressure y'all under. Don't be like Baby Cam. See what I'm saying? I was Baby Cam before. He's just trying to, he got all that pressure on him. You know, it's 600 people in here. He feel like he got to live up to something, you know. I got to take up for Dirk because Dirk ain't here. You know, I get it. I got to take up for Lil Baby. I like all his music. Too bad Lil Baby don't like his people. I wish Lil Baby liked his people as much as we like his music. If only Lil Baby liked his people as much as we like his music, we would be okay. See what I'm saying? Because I love Lil Baby music. But after that picture with him and Queen Op Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi, oh, you told me I don't need to know about you, Lil Baby. Masters Lil Baby. And that's what the lecture was about. And, you know, he's so plugged, they got on the phone and they shut that down yesterday. Niggas was tagging him. You know what I'm saying? And what happened? As a result, thousands of people can see the lie but can't hear it. All oh, because I broke this down yesterday. His ass is a house nigga. He got a Hermes bet on. Do you know who Hermes was in Greek mythology? Like I said yesterday, go look it up, man. You know, we don't mind re rocking the live. We will re rock the live if y'all want to delete it. I mean, play them games like they played. You know? Come on, man. Look at the video, y'all. 8,800 views. Only a few people had heard it yesterday. That was the tweet. You know what I'm saying? Like I said yesterday, a picture is worth a thousand words. That's more than a thousand words in that picture, man. More than a thousand words. They made sure to put him in front of that American flag, too. You know, that flag means something, y'all. 13 blood stripes on there, man. That represents the 13 original colonies that made the original agreement with the Draconian Pleiadian stronghold. And why I keep telling y'all, white people. Y'all ain't make it, dog. Y'all ain't in. Y'all ain't get in. Most white people, y'all are not a part of them original 13 blood families. No, y'all not. Give a fuck how much y'all pledge allegiance to that goddamn flag. That's why when it was a war that they created, every war in America was created by America. And them other world bankers. And it was used as a way to kill off more people. Nigga, France ain't got no issue with the United States of America, nigga. They all work together, nigga. But they gonna tell you, they told y'all that on the front and then created a whole World War I and sent niggas out there on the front lines to die in that shit. The only country America ever had a, a problem with that they went to war with was Vietnam. And what happened in Vietnam? Vietnam fucked they ass up, nigga. The Vietnamese fucked them boys up over there, nigga, coming in they shit. Go look at the research, nigga. The Vietnamese War, America had to remove troops. They lost that war, nigga. Most of these wars in history, other than that Vietnamese War, were staged. Just used as a reason to kill people. Just a way to kill you off, man. Used as a way to kill you off, man.
these wars. I think it's in the um. Most of these wars, y'all. Is used to kill you off, man. And 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 that's another thing that I don't think uh a lot of individuals get. That these wars that were fought all throughout history were all staged. Do you do you get that part? Do y'all get that part, though? I don't think y'all get that part. Every fucking war was staged. Now, think about how many people died in the wars, man. Come on, man. Guess what these wars were? Blood sacrifice rituals. Yeah, man. Blood sacrifice rituals. Okay? Because think about it. What happens in war? We Now that it's coming out more and more that our oppressors are blood drinkers, now you see the urge for more death and more murder. Because when them bodies go to autopsy, where do you think all them dead bodies went? Yeah, the people that was in the army were real people. They thought they were really going to war. Like, for example, if you joined the army and you was an American, you went out there and you're like, okay, I'm going to go fight these Vietnamese. Or I'm going to go fight World War II against the Japanese. And then those Japanese that was in the war, they went out there and they thought the same thing because they were lied to. Go fight for your country. Whole time, those were all low-level human beings. Who are not in the 13 bloodlines. Those were poor Asians and poor whites. Poor blacks. Of course, we call poor, so we know the blacks are in the bloodline. But I'm talking about these whites and these Asians don't know this about them not being in the bloodline. You know what I'm saying? The poor ones. So, what happens? You get 300,000 motherfuckers out there on the battlefield. They fighting and killing each other. Also, all the money they get spent on buying tanks and armory. A lot of money go to war. On top of that, after the after the war, now it's more money got to get tilted out for rebuilding everything. So it's a three for one. Destroy the planet. Get to rebuild the things the way you want it. On top of that, you snatching souls. So you get a lot of blood. You get a lot of a livestock to feed off of. Facts, boy. It's a cold game. It's a motherfucking cold game. So, my right. so you telling me, God, every single war that was fought in America by, on, from, by America was staged just so they can kill people and have extra blood, have an extra food source? That's exactly what I'm saying, nigga. That's exactly what I'm saying, nigga. They made it look like America and France was beefing in World War I. No, it wasn't because the motherfuckers that run France runs America. It's, it's, these are just corporations, man. These are just corporations. Stop thinking they're countries. That's why I don't know why people get all in they all in their chest about it. Niggas want to represent their flag. That's why I say they got a little baby standing in front of that flag. That's your corporation logo. All the flag is is your corporation's logo. That has nothing to do with your fucking ethnicity. That has nothing to do with your true history, nigga. Every motherfucker with carbon in their skin won't give a fuck what flag you raise, nigga. That ain't your flag. Give a fuck you 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 think you Jamaican? Let me give y'all that. Look, man. Look, man. Look, man. You could post the fuck out of that Jamaican flag, nigga. Yo ass is not no goddamn Jamaican. Jamaica is a Spanish name. See what I'm saying? So, we can't, but when you posting your flag, you you identifying with that flag, so you still don't, you still lost. Because you identifying with the flag. See what I'm saying? When you are more than that flag, nigga. Your species was here before that flag ever got here, nigga. Alright? Give a fuck what flag you raise, nigga. Whatever flag you want to raise, nigga, you can raise an American flag, you can raise an Asian flag, you can raise... A, a, can a Canadian flag All them flags you raising Comes from your oppressor None of that shit represents you 
Let's not forget he beat and stole and killed and maimed and took everything from you. Nigga, you still don't know your last name. Fuck is you talking about? And now today in 2021, you you raising a flag. You got house me girls like that. 15 million followers on his Instagram account. He's supposed to be the voice of us. Representing for us. He's in the office with Queen Op Kamala Harris. What are they discussing? What's getting done? Ain't nothing getting done because he in there with a motherfucking mask on his face. So we already know little baby when he got vaccinated. Nigga, I know you when he got vaccinated. You don't have to even make a post and say he got vaccinated. You standing next to that bitch, you got vaccinated, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. So. See. But it makes you feel better to say, um, um, you know. Oh, no, 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 man. God just saying some shit. No, man. It ain't about whether you listen to mute to this type of music or none of that neither. This ain't about no rap music. This is about the fact that this is one of the biggest names on the planet right now. And the biggest name on the planet has sold out once again. So how many of us do we have to see get to the top and sell out to realize that that's what it takes to get to the top? I keep telling y'all that. He would never got there without selling out. Nigga. That man sacrificed his homie, man. Killed his own mans to get there, man. I exposed this yesterday. I exposed this yesterday. Niggas forget about Marlo. Let's see if Instagram block it again, y'all. Now, I just said this yesterday. Lil Baby blew up after he... The, after he sacrificed his friend Marlo last year, it went. It was quiet. It got swept under the rug. All quiet. Little baby barely posted about the shit. All he said was, "Man, that's what happened with the street niggas. He was in the streets." But Marlo was a real Atlanta street nigga, and people from Atlanta would vouch for that, right? Okay, so that's like a little Dirt King Von situation all over again. You got. You, the only difference is Marlo wasn't as talented as King Von. But it's the same situation. You got the real street nigga, King Von, who trusts his, his nigga that he know from the streets a little bit, Lil Dirt, and, you know, just got out of jail, beat his murder. He trying to do something different with his life. They all beat him, so he fuck with Dirt. The whole time, he not knowing Dirt jealous of him. Dirt can't take the fact that King Von has got real street rap, that he really lived this shit that Dirk is rapping about. See what I'm saying? So that so he couldn't take it. He knew to get ahead, he got to make certain sacrifices. He sacrificed King Von, not only to beat the case that they had, but he told on him in that case. So I'm saying he told on Von in that case, and Von was going, all that shit was going to come out eventually. That's another reason why he had to get him out the way. All right? But go listen to King Von. I don't know why he told. Then go listen to that shit um, with him, Memo 600. I think his name Buka 600 or something. And Lil Durst just added his verse on after King Von died. You can tell. Nigga, they, they dissing each other in the verse. All right? After Lil Durk sacrificed King Von, Lil Durk career has took the fuck off. We all know that. And not just with King Von. Go look at Lil Durk career. Anytime he's blown up, it's after he didn't kill one of his homies. First Nooski. After Nooski died and his manager died, his career took off even farther. Every time somebody died close to him, his, his career blows up even more. I'm talking about Lil Durk. All right? Now let's get the Lil Baby. He sat hit last year. He sacrificed his best friend, Marlo. Now... Now, he sacrificed his best friend, Marlo. Now, check this out. What's Lil Baby's biggest record, y'all? Bigger picture. Let's pull it up again. Lil Baby's biggest, biggest record today is the bigger picture. What date did the bigger picture come out? It says the bigger picture was released June 12, 2020. See, y'all don't pay attention to dates, but the elites, they use Gematria. They do death by numbers all the time. That's how they rock. Okay. Lil Baby's, when they dropped, the sixth month on the 12th day in the year of 2020. So let's do Gematria. We, since June is what month? It's the sixth month. We would do six plus one plus two. What's six plus one? Seven. What's seven plus two? Nine. All right, now we got 2020 left. Drop the zeros in Gematria. What's nine plus two? Eleven. What's eleven plus two? Thirteen. So when you add up the release date to bigger picture, 6 12 2020, you get the number 13, nigga, which goes back to the elites and the 13 bloodlines. Okay, now, do you think it's a coincidence that 30 days after Bigger Picture comes out, his best friend, a right hand man, Marlo, who he rapped about, we, Marlo, that's my dog, we won't fall out about shit. 
You know, especially not by no bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what he rapped about, right? Marlo is killed July 12, 2020. 30 days after Bigger Picture comes out and Marlo was just turning 30. So when you drop the zeros on that, you get 33 again. All right? Here, this is this is death by number with the elites. And then you'll notice that after Lil Marlo died, right? After he died, last year, June 12, Bigger Picture comes out. Marlo gets killed, sacrificed 30 days later, and he was 30 years old. It's, th it's called 30-30. It's the 30-30 special that they like to do. All right? So they did the 30-30 special. Now check game. Check game. Now, and since Marlo died, look where Lil Baby career went. And nobody would peep that because you not putting shit together, nigga. Meanwhile, Divine Insight here is sitting back, just letting everything tabulate on up. I look at this sellout nigga. And then, so this was when? When was this? Lil Baby put out Bigger Picture. Um, June 12, 2020. It, it's going to be June 12th again. In less than one year after his sacrifice, he capitalizes the year with this. Nigga, he wouldn't have got in her office before he sacrificed Marlo, nigga. And in bigger picture, he told y'all they was going to come for him. He said, I don't want to go too deep. I'm scared they're going to come get me. So what more do you need to see? All right. And now you look up. Now the nigga is with the president. Now he and, and two, two million motherfuckers liked it. Two million motherfuckers liked it, man. Come on, man. Y'all that blind? Two million motherfuckers liked it, G. But you bitches will get on my shit and I think I'm I think I'm on some other shit. Two million of you you sheeps like that. This nigga standing next to the main bitch who got niggas locked up. She's for the face of that shit. Lil Baby ain't going there and get nothing intellectual accomplished. Cause then after he got out that meeting, he got on Instagram posting about how he spent 300000 on shoes and shit. So that's what we teaching our kids to go make deals with the ops and then go spend all your money back with them. I mean, you spend your money how you spend your money, but he could start his own line, start his own shoe line. Hell, I would have bought a pair. I said this yesterday. But when you spend 300 K with with they brand, you got all them kids looking up to you. They go think that's what, what the end thing to do. So it's the blind leading the blind. Really the blind leading the blind. But house Negroes won't see through that. You know how many niggas under that post was commenting, that's a good look. Good dog. I know you niggas ain't no street niggas because you can't never even be a street nigga and even think that picture cool. Since when we, since when was taking pictures with the police cool? Nigga, she the op. She's queen op, nigga. She's queen op, nigga. She don't give a fuck about no black man. Nigga, she didn't let that be known. But you got 15 million followers and you got this whole platform and you want to bend over and kiss your, kiss they ass. This is why they'll never let Instagram will never let me get 15 million followers, nigga. They fucking with me now and I'm getting this shit out the mud. I don't have Motown and Capital and no big um, sellout major brands behind me, nigga. This shit come out the mud one soul at a time and they fucking with me. You hear me? My YouTube channel just hit a million views. I keep saying it. 25 subscribers, a million views total on the channel, and I'm already finna get the channel took him. Meanwhile, this house Negro, they'll never take nothing down off his channel because it ain't about shit. Every fucking song is telling your ass to pop pills, sip lean, and go blow your fucking money. All this shit is gonna keep your ass set back in life, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Anytime a black man or God gets on this platform and tries to uplift his people and speak life to his people, we become a threat. I'm a threat to the system, nigga. Young Pharaoh, a threat to the system. Kali, a threat to the system, nigga. That's why y'all fuck with us. You get what I'm saying? That's why they fuck with Malcolm. That's why they fuck with Pop, nigga. That's why they killed Nipsey, nigga. Same way, nigga. We threats, nigga. We ain't scared to speak the truth. We ain't no ass kissers. Fuck out of here. Niggas ain't gonna scare me with none of that shit. I don't give a fuck how many niggas in OTF. I don't give a fuck how many niggas in 4PF. I don't give a fuck how many niggas that they got bodies on my soul. I ain't scared of none of that shit. Boy, you gonna have to show me you mean that, nigga. 
Fuck out of here, nigga. And if you got to send, send another nigga, that just fucking prove my point, nigga. Fuck out of here. Ain't no label, Atlantic Records, Motown, Capital, Instagram, Facebook. You ain't none of you bitches going to do nothing with me. On my soul, I'm going to get this bitch every time I tell the truth. You ain't going to put no fear in me not to speak the truth. Unlike Lil Baby Scary Ass, bitch ass, little goofy ass house nigga. You dick sucking ass bitch made Mickey Mouse looking ass hoe ass nigga. That's how I feel about him, nigga. Because I used to like the little nigga shit. Like Pop told y'all ass that shit, man. But y'all want to act like y'all love Pop. That's what I'm saying. Y'all act like y'all so everybody love Tupac. Then you got niggas like Boosie, who I have respect for, till he sacrificed Mo3. That was so obvious. Then he go to Dallas. Everybody get shot out the camp. But everybody, everybody, niggas shoot at your, at your entourage, nigga. You don't want to get hit. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Like, I don't know how you got, how you talked your way off death row. Nigga, let's not forget, Boosie, you had six murders, boy. You was on death row. How you get back? Nigga, that ain't wishing nothing on a nigga. I'm telling it like it is. I don't wish nothing on a nigga. But I ain't the nigga that, 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 that has six murders. Or whatever they trying to say Boosie was doing. I went with Boosie when that shit was going on. But what I would like to know is how the fuck, nigga, you get out that situation. Right. Niggas forgot about that. And then you look up down the road. His biggest artist ever that he fucking with, Mo3, get killed. Fuck out of here. Two days after King Von gets killed. And both artists were signed to Empire Records. Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm just the nigga that ain't scared to tell the truth. You niggas let these niggas rap me scared to say niggas' names. Oh, I ain't gonna say his name because he gonna send somebody. I ain't gonna say niggas, niggas send who you wanna send. That just proved my point that you a whole ass nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Get a holler at me. Right. Fuck out of here. Miss me with all that shit about what's going on in your city. Hey, I'm out from Chicago, nigga. If it's the issue, I'ma holler at you on my own, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. They ain't, ain't no I'm too big to holler at you, nigga. That's some pussy ass shit, nigga. Like I said, Boosie don't like what I'm saying. We can scrap about this shit. We can do celebrity boxing. Zab Judah set it up. I'm a beat Boosie ass. He sacrificed more three. He don't like it. We can scrap, nigga. Lil Dirk don't like it. We can scrap, nigga. Who else I just say? Lil Baby don't like it. We can scrap, nigga. Anybody that I'm saying is a sellout, nigga. That's a rapper that a nigga feel a ish, nigga. We can get Zab Judah on the phone. Celebrity boxing. And we can donate the money back to our people, nigga. I'm all in. What's up? Niggas ain't gonna do nothing but try to send the next nigga. Right. And, 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 and go behind my back and motherfucking congregate and form deals with the ops like your bitch ass doing in this picture, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. That's all niggas gonna do. And then Kamala gonna say, well, I know some officers that work in Georgia, so let's put some officers on them in Georgia. That's what y'all gonna do. Fuck out of here. Niggas ain't gonna never address me. I've been trying to get a debate with somebody that went to Harvard, Yale, somebody that work at NASA. They don't want to debate me. I can't get a one-on-one. -on -one. I can't get a fade with niggas. I can't, I can't get pulled on nobody for a real interview. Everybody trying to blackball me. DJ Academics, Vlad, all y'all be watching my shit. Niggas be black, trying to blackball me out this shit. All you bloggers. All you niggas. Nigga, Gilly the Kid, nigga, y'all ain't never heard of me. Why I ain't got calls on a million dollars worth of game, nigga? I'm giving real game out here. How I ain't got calls on me. How I ain't got on there yet. How y'all in the breakfast club ain't called me? Because y'all know I'm going to come in that bitch. I'm going to treat Angela Yee for being the dick sucker that she is. I'm going to expose Charlemagne for being the undercover homosexual that he is. That's out to purposely tear down the black masculinity in the community. I'm going to expose DJ Envy for being the motherfucking trans woman that he is. FTM. Fuck out of here. Nigga got a whole pussy. Fuck out of here. That's a female. Like, like, niggas ain't gonna pull me up there because niggas know I'm gonna kick it too real. Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm exposed, say cheese, for being a gatekeeper, for, for actually acting as a gatekeeper for these white folks, these white races that run the Hollywood, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Taking advantage of the artists, independent artists trying to come up. And all you DJs should be ashamed of y'all self too. Out there acting like y'all care, nigga. Y'all got all this shit going on on the internet. Like y'all trying to help these artists, nigga. Y'all ain't trying to help these Y'all take their money. Y'all do that shit in Atlanta too. That's why I don't never go to none of you nigga. The club no more. None of that shit, nigga. You want me to come out and you got to pay me, nigga. Three racks, nigga. You want a feature for me? That's going to be $3,000, nigga. One-on-one conversation, that's $1,000. These are my prices, nigga. I decide my worth, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Goofy ass. Promoters do the same shit. That's why I told y'all, if y'all artists, 
Fuck the industry. Yo, do y'all thing and help build the planet up with your music. If your ass work in corporate America, fuck them. Come from them and start your own companies. All this shit be fake, nigga. And when niggas can't take it like that, they come together like they trying to do Kwame Brown. He exposed the niggas in the NBA and shit, right? Because they get down on him, right? Because he ain't no, he ain't, he ain't no ro he ain't no robotoy. He ain't a robotoy. You know what I'm saying? Ain't a robotoy like 99% of them. I'm waiting for him to say that. I wonder if he gonna say that part though. You know what I'm saying? But what they doing though? Oh, the whole Breakfast Club, three, four, five niggas from the NBA that came, whole NBA that came together against the nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's all they gonna do. Niggas gang up and come together against me. Fuck out of here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because what I'm saying is facts. Niggas is sellouts. Niggas is house Negroes. We at war with the system right now. Let's not forget, we are at war with the system, nigga. So ain't nothing wrong with putting music out. But hold on, we not doing that. And when we put the music out, let's put a message in the music to captivate the times. How you an artist, but you're not talking about what's going on right now in your country. You're not no real artist if you, if you ain't doing that in your music, nigga. You got a voice. You have a platform. That means that's a lot of responsibility other than niggas just buying diamond chains all day. I'm tired of walking around. I'm tired of watching you niggas just get on here with fat ass rings on y'all finger, nigga. And not talk about shit, though. Nigga, I got fat diamond rings, too, but I'm talking about some shit. Nigga, I'm out here with a, with a purpose, nigga. Nigga, just get on here every day. Yeah, you know, I just cashed out, spent $120,000 on, on all this jewelry. Okay, that's cool. Now, what else you got to tell us? We happy for you. Now, what else you got to tell us? Uh, uh, I just want to tell y'all that, uh, 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 nothing, right? Nigga ain't got nothing else to say other than how many drugs they cooked up in the kitchen. Okay, can you let the little niggas know what, what cooking them drugs are going to lead them to, though? Niggas ain't got nothing else to say on their records other than how many guns they got. But when the police come, you talking about free the guys. See what I'm saying? Niggas ain't got nothing else to talk about their music about how many niggas they killed. But how many police officers have you killed? That's what I want to know. How many detectives have you killed? Or are you willing to kill them? Are you even willing to go to war for that purpose? Because you know in war you can lose your avatar. And this is another thing to give me with you hoe ass niggas in the streets, right? Niggas slap on me. Man, God, you know, you know, you know, the way you be talking, man, you got to be a little careful out there, man. Because you, how? Nigga, in the streets, it's ain't it, ain't it a risk? Nigga, your life at risk wherever you go. Nigga, the roof can fall on me right now and I'm gone. If it's meant to be. That's a massive excuse. Every time it comes to going at it with the police, niggas want to get more. Now, all of a sudden, the toughest street, nigga, nigga you was just crazy, nigga. You was just on, on phone them. You was just EBK. Nigga, you was just EBK and talk about how many bodies you got and how you don't give a fuck about none. You ain't for none. But then I say, okay, well, we finna go to war with the police and these niggas for, for what they been doing to our women, our kids, and us in our planet. Nigga like, police, man, you kind of talk a little crazy now, God. I mean... I don't know about all that, man. Niggas ain't trying to. Niggas ain't trying to die. What you mean you ain't trying to die? But you was just out here game banging though. But now when it come to them, you you wanna now niggas wanna care about their life now. Now niggas got kids, man. Well, you know I do got kids, nigga. You ain't thought about that when you went outside and shut up they block. You ain't think about that when you all in the videos, when you all on social media, listening to these goofy ass niggas like that right there. You hear me? But then a real guy come to you like, okay, well, look, this the real war. Look, nigga, we finna go slide on them. This the war, nigga. We gearing up to go to war with these people. What's up? Now nigga wanna, man, you know, man, you know, man, they be really attacking niggas that talk like that. <laughs> nigga, they, what you mean? If I go to the wrong side of Chicago, I'm gonna get attacked. <laughs> nigga, if I go to the wrong side of Atlanta, I'm gonna get attacked. Nigga, if I go to the wrong town in Georgia, I'm getting attacked. Nigga, if I get on social media and just try to awaken y'all, I get attacked. So that means no matter what you do, you're going to get attacked. Nigga, stop acting like a little ass bitch, nigga. Just say you scared, nigga. I ain't never seen so many pussy ass niggas in my life. 
It's niggas, it's guys in the university that don't know, that don't even gang bang. Ain't never been in the streets and they ready to war with the people, with these people. You niggas call yourself ex-gang chiefs and gang leaders and steppers and all this shit. But niggas don't want to go to war with the real police, nigga. The real ops, nigga. That make you a bitch, nigga. Don't nobody want to hear shit about what you did in the street. It holds no weight if you were scared to go to war for a real cause with these people, nigga. It holds no weight, nigga. Shit don't hold no weight because you sold drugs to your own people. Shit don't hold no weight because you killed 10 of your own people, nigga. How many of them is you willing to kill, nigga? I'm willing to kill every last one of they ass breathing, nigga. Babies and all, nigga. What about you? I'm ready to decapitate heads behind this shit. Boy, this shit personal with me. What about you? Right. You ain't ready to do shit, but get on the internet and pose with guns and talk about how you a stepper and who up on the scope. And listen to the sellout niggas like that, nigga. And then go out here and rob your own people. Shoot your own people. Molest, rape, and hurt your own people, nigga. Even if you a teacher, you go out here and you teaching lies to your own, to babies. You out here hurting, you killing the minds of babies. You worse than any rap sellout. If you a fucking American teacher, your ass is worse than a little baby. Because you feeding lies to the kids. Fuck out of here, you old house Negroes. And that's why y'all all came together to get the live mysteriously muted somehow the other day. So we re-rocked that bitch on y'all ass today. Early too. 8 a.m., nigga. Got me fucked up, nigga. What you think this is? Nigga, I was on a slight vacation. They don't ever think, nigga, I ain't still who I am, nigga. I ain't been seeing the shit been going on while I've been on my slight va vacation, nigga. You hear me? I see everything, nigga. It's called a vacation for a reason. I'm, I'm relaxing. Feel me? Same thing with a few people in the university place. Or I'm like, listen, bro. Y'all see me... Screenshotting y'all orders and shit. If you ain't got your tracking number yet, bro, you gonna get it, bro. If not, bro, I'll refund you your shit, bro. You feel me? And another thing, though. Who in the university steady charging back? Like, six of y'all charge back. G, don't come in my university charging shit back, nigga. You hear me? If you don't want to be in a university, don't join, nigga. If you want to get out the university, just, wait to, just cancel your subscription. All that charging back. Don't do that shit because now, now I got to report your ass. Because now when you charge back, nigga, that affects my company. I have an official LLC. My university is an actual business. So let me teach you something about a business, nigga. If you steady call y'all ass charge back, then that makes it look like I'm scamming your ass, nigga. And then a motherfucker scammed you. You know what happened? Your ass bought the fucking package for $33. And then the next month came, and it was like, oh, $33 is going to come out your account again. Because it's reoccurring for six months or three months, depending on the package you bought. The only people that make a one-time payment is the people that spend $333 and buy the Violet package. And a lot of y'all bought the Violet, and they ain't never got to pay again for the whole year. But if you only bought the Gold package, yes, it's, you got to pay $33 a month for six months. Nigga, if you don't want the shit, like somebody hit me up early and like, can I cancel my subscription? Yes. Tell me I'll cancel your shit for you. If you have any issues, it's people who, 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 who try to buy crystals and they sold out. I sent them their money right back. They can vouch. You see hearts coming because niggas know, man, I ain't finna steal nothing from you. But, bro, don't be hitting me, antagonizing me. You see me on vacation, niggas. Just, niggas, I'm bringing y'all all on vacation with me. I'm all in a helicopter over the, over the ocean water, nigga. You see me in the helicopter and you got the nerve to send me a message. Hey, can you read this DM? No, I can't read the DM, nigga. I'm on vacation. Fuck is wrong with you? I'm on here every day, Monday through damn near Sunday, nigga. I can't get me. I can't relax. I can't take some time for me. I can't take some time for self, nigga, to, to, to re-gear up so I can keep teaching your ass, nigga. It's a full-fledged war I'm in, nigga. You know? Fuck is wrong with you. Have some respect, nigga. You know I ain't, you know I'm real. I ain't gonna play your ass on no level. And my face on the line. So you ain't gotta worry about me stealing no bread from you, playing you, none of that, nigga. My name will never go down like that. My face is out here, nigga. So I'm not finna even let myself go like that. Over $33.69. Fuck out of here. Over $330. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna do that, man. All you gotta do is be like, hey, look. I wanna cancel it, and we can do it the professional way. I cancel you out. You ain't in there no more, and I'm good. But if you 
pay for a subscription and then you call your bank and say, I have a false, I didn't, I didn't verify that. Now it hits me as a chargeback. Now it looks like I stole from you. Get your goofy ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the individuals that did that, I had to report y'all ass. So y'all banks gonna be on y'all ass. Because I'm not going down. You could have just hit me up, nigga. I'm not finna go down. And now that, that destroys it for... It's 20 plus thousand people on my website. You think I'm finna destroy that for six motherfuckers who decided that they ain't got the money this month? Because you act like I don't know the... You know what I'm saying? They act like I ain't from the hood. You that ain't nothing but a nigga being like this. Okay, I'm gonna pay to go on his website, right? And then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all the drop for free for a month. And then next month I'm gonna just call my bank back and say I I didn't I didn't verify that and get my money back. You think I don't know that scam, nigga? I'm from the hood, nigga. Come on, man. That's why I said don't be doing that shit with me, bro. And y'all know who y'all is, and I'm not even gonna say y'all name to give y'all no form of cloutation in here. But uh, but listen, I'm definitely ain't fucking with y'all on no level again. Those who who call back, you know who you is, nigga. You could have just, you could have hit me. Hey, bro, I want to cancel my subscription. And we could have went through my site and did it the professional way. When you charge it back, my nigga, now you basically telling the bank that I came on and took that shit off you. And you know damn well your ass bought, the 30, spent $33. And you that petty, the end 30 days later, you're going to go back and get your $33 back. You worse than the motherfucker that never came in the university. But I bet you, I bet you, you ain't asked for no money back when you went and bought this album, though. And he gave you... Consistent mixtapes of bullshit. I bet you finna buy the next album. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here, nigga. You know, like, I don't know the tango, y'all. You, you nigga, nigga, listen. Don't do that shit with me. Because you're going to hurt yourself. I'm not finna go down for you. Nigga goes, come spend the money, y'all. And then go, go call their bank and be like, well, I don't know how. I don't know where this came out my account. Yes, you did, because it came across back to my shit as a charge back. I guess you forgot. My university's official, nigga. I got all the business shit, my logo, all that shit. Everything is trademark LLC. I'm a, I'm a real life god, nigga. I handle business all around the board, nigga. So like, yes, it comes back to me like that. I'm like, look at these low vibrational Negroes. Well, you could have just been real, or better yet, be even realer and don't even come. If you know, that, and listen, don't even buy the gold package if you got a problem with paying thirty three dollars for the next six months. Because that's what the gold package is. If you do the gold package, that's going to be $33 a month for six months. Then you have to renew the whole goddamn subscription. If you go blue, that's $104. One time payment, it lasts three months. All right? When you go blue and violet, you only pay once. If you want to go $33, you're going to pay six times, nigga. Once a month for six times. And if you don't want to pay that, nigga, don't buy into it. Just be like, man, I'll just catch him when he live. That's It's that simple. It's that simple. Damn. All right. Now I'm through with y'all. Let me get back to these teachers. Now back to you teachers. So see, y'all thought y'all escaped it. No. Because them the gods and the goddesses. I just got to correct their ass. They tripping. But these teachers, y'all are not gods and goddesses. Y'all are the ops. It's a difference. All right. Yeah, it's a fucking difference. Because y'all sitting here feeding poison to the minds of these babies. These babies, man. I got y'all. Somebody said, what's the website? I got y'all. Um, Yeah, listen, but look, don't join the website if your ass got a problem with spending $33 a month or if you don't want to pay $104 one time or $333 one time. Don't, 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 don't join it, man. We can stay your ass on the outside, man. We don't, we already be damn near five, six hundred deep when I go live. I'm just trying to get a certain number. Like, you feel me? 10K is the goal. Once I hit 10K on the website, I'm not going live public no more. I mean, I'm going to go live public, but I'm not going to be on here like giving like drops. All drops on the website. I'm not even going to YouTube no more. You know what I'm saying? YouTube going to be videos and little shit like that. But yeah, anyway, so back to the teachers. Y'all get paid to destroy the minds of our babies. How do you sleep at night? Fuck all that. I want to know. Now, 700 people. Who a teacher in here? Who a teacher in here? Who is a school teacher in here? Yeah, the website, the, yeah, the website is it's not down. It's just like moving slow. So basically, you gotta look at it like this. Somebody said the website seems to be down. Basically, what's going on is this. We have Memorial Day weekend. Remember that? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So like even like, like normally on my site, it tell me who how many people visited, who bought, who who spent money. 
You know what I'm saying? I can't even. I ain't been able to see that since Thursday. So when I called them, it's because it's Memorial Day weekend. Tomorrow is Tuesday. We back good going Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? So don't trip. It ain't just y'all. I'm going through the same shit. But yeah, don't join the website if you got a problem with paying thirty-three dollars a month. That's if you go gold. If you go blue, it's only one hundred four for three months. And if you go violet, it's three thirty-three for the whole year. That's on you. All right. I got a bunch of shit we finna be adding. I'm back now. You know me. I probably don't take another vacation for another four, five weeks or something like that. So, um, let's talk about these teachers a little bit. So, I want to know as a teacher, right? Or maybe teachers are not aware of this. Maybe they think what they're teaching is true because they got taught the same lies in school. It could be that too. But that's what I'm saying. You're not even supposed to be a teacher in a school if you, if you haven't went through the arithmetics of life. If you haven't taken the time to do your own soul searching, if you haven't, you shouldn't even be a teacher because that job is too important. That job is too important. And they, they put motherfuckers in there and they never did no soul searching. They put motherfuckers in there believing Jesus. So you got motherfuckers that's feeding lies, lies being taught to, to the kids. The blind leading the blind. Well, I wish I would pay to send my kids to school, nigga. Never again. I, I don't know why would I send my school. I can't send my kids around y'all teachers. Y'all ain't gonna do right. Y'all some house Negroes too. Now if you ain't now if you ain't black and you a teacher, I'm not even talking to you. But if you got carbon in your skin and you're an elementary school teacher or a high school teacher or a college professor or your ass work in law enforcement, your ass is the biggest sellout to our people that, that, that can ever be. There's no bigger sellout to the black community, Latino community than, than black and Latino cops, lawyers, judges, litigators, congressmen, congresswomen, governors, government agents and school teachers. No bigger threat. The reason we don't know shit now, because it was a, a grown ass teacher somewhere that lied to our little young ass. How you like those apples? Think about that. It was a grown ass teacher. You trusted that adult. Taught you everything you knew in school. And they were all lies. Lying to the babies. Exactly. Brainwashers. Hmm. That don't make y'all feel no kind of way. I'm just saying though. Because they came and got you young. They got us as young as two, nigga. I feel a way about that, fam. You should feel a way about that. Nigga. They still lying to your kids right now. And they got you so lazy as a parent because they lied to you as a kid. You don't even see it. You don't have the courage to even fight for your babies. You got to be working for them all day. Well, who gonna raise your kids? You know you at work working for them? That the system is now raising your kids? You supposed to raise your kids. That's why they got your black ass and your Latino ass at work all day slaving for them. Meanwhile, they're manipulating your kids at home and at school all day. You can't raise your kids and work. See how they did how they do you? Oh man. What got to matter more is fuck your bills, nigga. Your kids should matter more than your bills. Your kids should matter more than your bills, nigga. And all that. Where we going to where I'm going to stay if I don't pay the bills? That mentality got to go, nigga. This our planet, nigga. Where they going to stay if they don't pay the bills? That got to be the mindset. Man, where well, I'm going to stay if I don't pay the bills? Nigga, what you mean? We right here, nigga. Where we been, nigga? What you mean where we going to stay? We going to stay right here where the fuck we been before they came, nigga. That's where we going to stay. Fuck is you talking about? Niggas acting soft. But, 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 but you will get gangster with your own kind in a heartbeat, nigga. Why we can't get gangster with the landlord? Choke his goofy ass up. Nigga ain't paying shit, nigga. Get goofy ass spot here, nigga. Fuck you talking about? That's a war. I ain't paying shit. You still talking? <laughs> you hear me? Now nah, nigga know we ain't paying shit. I just stumped his teeth out his mouth. I bet they know we ain't paying shit now. Fuck out of here, niggas acting all. Nigga, you ain't been act you ain't been in compliance. Now niggas want to get in compliance when it comes to these folks, these, these white racists though. You ain't in compliance on no other level on the planet, nigga. 
But every time somebody racist, white, say something to your black ass, you you you, you shrivel up like a little ass bitch. All of a sudden, you 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 complain. <laughs> now niggas complain. Now niggas know how to follow rules and shit. You wouldn't even listen to your own mama, nigga. You didn't even listen to your own mama, and she raised your bitch ass. You had to learn the hard way, didn't you? Like I did, nigga. Right. But you would listen to their ass in a heartbeat. Nigga, we don't even listen to our own parents, nigga. Niggas, niggas to be fucked. I ain't trying to hear nothing. But let them say it. Okay. You know, whole cheer right here. Your mama say, jump over the cheer. Why I got to jump over the chair? I ain't jumping over the chair. Now you and your mama arguing. Well, she get out of my house. Well, I'm going in. And then you walk right outside. And then here go the system. Jump over the chair. Here you go. This is it. Nigga ain't asked nothing. Niggas just politely lifted their knees. And went over that bitch. You ain't gave, you ain't gave the system half the hassle you gave your motherfucking mama, and she pushed your bitch ass out, nigga. And she cared about your ass, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Nigga ain't never, we ain't never gave the system half the hassle we gave our parents growing up, nigga. And that's the issue. Motherfuckers move like bitches, and I'm just calling it out. Now, if you don't want to be no move like no bitch, it's time to rise, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Man, if, if, how, nigga, what's more important, raising your kids or paying rent? You stink rent. And that's exactly why it's a whole generation of fucked up kids right now. Because you, you chose rent over raising your motherfucking kids, nigga. Don't worry about it. My mama did it too. And her mama did it too. And her mama did it. And that's been a motherfucking system, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck that rent. Raise them kids. Raise them kids and raise your vibration. Fuck the rent, nigga. Raise the kids and raise your vibration, nigga. But guess what? As long as you focus on paying rent, you can't raise your kids or your vibration. Yo goofy ass stay working for them. Low vibration stressing and shit. Wait till you turn 70 for a 401k that you might not even make it live long enough to even get, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Them ain't even, them ain't even the, the human life expand standards ain't even 65 like that, nigga. It's shit like 55 or some shit. They know what they doing, nigga. Then if you do hit the age, they still don't just 